Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to a brand new football video. This video, as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, is my team of, of the year for the Premier League. So, uh, anyway, let's get straight down to this video. So guys, you know what to do, give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first position is obviously the keeper. I went with Ericsson from Man City, sorry if I mispronounced your name in any way. It was a mix-up between um, Ericsson and Alisson for Liverpool. I just went with Ericsson because I do believe maybe he's kept Man, Man City in games a bit more. And, you know, he's probably done a couple of more good saves as well. No disrespect to Alisson. But, you know, so I went with Ericsson in goal purely because of that matter of fact. And it does look like Man City will win the title now. So... That's why I went with Ericsson in goal. In left back, I went with Reese James from Chelsea. Now, for you that know and for you that don't know, Reese James is a very good young uh, Englishman. He's a very, very good wing back. And who knows, maybe he will, you know, maybe interest the European top club sooner, sooner rather than later. Someone like Barcelona. Someone like Real Madrid, someone like Bayern Munich, and he already does play for a European top club in Chelsea. But I did go to see him in the Malmo game at Chelsea Malmo at Stamford Bridge earlier on this season, and he he had a very very good game, and you know he's got a very bright future ahead of him. So I went with Rhys James in left back. Uh, centre back, I've gone with a bit of a four three three formation as well. I went with Rupert Diaz from Man City. I went with Diaz purely because of our fact. I think he's kept Man City in games too. You know, he hasn't really had a downfall, I don't think, this season. You may be able to correct me down in the comments below. But I really do think maybe he's had a really good year this year. And, you know... Who knows where it'll lead to, you know, it could lead to another Premier League title for Manchester City. In the other centre-back, I went with Van Dijk. Uh, now, I know he's only been back a short time, but if you look across the whole year, I think he's had a very, very good year, and let him come back from a serious injury like he did, and still managing to play like he is. And, you know, he's had a really, really good um, couple of, months i think he's been back he came back early october late, late september but anyway he's had a very very good year um if you put the year in overall and you know maybe who knows where that may lead to you know maybe he might be able to get another premier league title with liverpool before the before his contract ends or before his football career ends now in the other right back position i've had to have a bit of a think. It was between two players, yet again for me. It was between Alexander Arnold or the player I went with, which was Marcus Alonso. Marcus Alonso, yet again, I saw him play against Chelsea and Malmo. And for a wing back who used to play in the right back position, let's not forget that, you know, under Fred Lampard, I think they used to play four at the back. So he's had to actually changed quite quickly his positioning and everything else he's done a brilliant job this season alone you know let alone any other season and this is actually the first year i've done it as well so my work with the long time right back just purely because what he's done and what he's doing at chelsea and um, you know anyone would be surely be happy to have him in their squad now in cdm i didn't have no real pick um, but I went with this player just to purely complete this video. But I do believe he's had an outstanding year as well. So I went with Jordan Henderson from Liverpool. Now I know I could have had a few other players in that positioning. One, one reason I didn't have that position is because of the matter of fact, you know, why, why, um, why should he not be in there? I think he had a brilliant year for England, let alone England reaching the Euro 2020 final, and he ain't had that bad year for Liverpool, even though sometimes he is on the bench, I do think he might be slightly underestimated for 
you know, at Liverpool where he does get put on the bench. But as I said, he's reached the Euro 2024 with England. And to be honest, I've seen him quite a few times this season. And at England, I wonder about I haven't been to Liverpool. But, um, you know, he's had a really good year um, for England. And I just think maybe he's maybe a bit underestimated this season. But he definitely made my team of the year this season. This year, sorry. Manel, in the slightly forward position in midfield, I went with this player because he's had yet again another brilliant year in Mason Mount. Now, Mason Mount, to me, has had one of these years reaching the Euro 2020 final with England, as I've just mentioned. But he's such a young, talented player. I don't believe where Frank Lampard found these players from, but they have found a hidden gem there. Uh, Mason Mount is a really, really good young Englishman. I do believe maybe, you know, if Chelsea don't win the title within the next, what, three, four years, I believe he could fit into a title-winning team somewhere like up at Man City where, you know what they do with the young players up there. Uh, let's just look at the likes of Raheem Sterling and players like Kevin De Bruyne as well. But, you know, it's got to be one of those things with Mason Mount. A very good young um, Englishman. Very good player. And yet again, I did see him up at Chelsea and Malmo. But Mason Mount got that position purely just because of his playing abilities. Now, the other slightly forward position. I went with this player. I think you all agree with me on this one. I went with Phil Foden. Yet again, what an outstanding career he's had. I'm not agreeing with what he's done with... Jack, Ring Jack Ringlish, but I'm doing on the field only, and to be on the field like he is, scoring goals like he is as well, you know, let's not forget that he has been really good scoring goals, so I went with Phil Friday in that, and his capability, capabilities this season have just been out of the roof, so, you know, I'll dig stick him in there, because I believe he deserves to be in there as well, you can also, you can always stick to your team of the year, down in the comments below after this video. My next, well, right wing, left wing, whatever side you want to put him, I went with Bernardo Silva with Manchester City. Why Bernardo Silva? Because if you take out the... OK, if you take out maybe, you know, his bench, I know he gets benched quite a lot, but I think he's been starting quite recently. Please don't quote me on that. But... You know, he's had one of these brilliant years where maybe he could have done a bit better. He could have done a bit worse as well. Uh, but I think for the player he is, for the way he's having to come into games, he's had a brilliant uh, year so far. And, well, the year's nearly finished. So I think Bernardo Silva deserves to be in there. Next, we go with the striker's position. I went with the one and only Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, I know maybe I could have went with someone else. I could have maybe went with Firmino. Or, but I went with Ronaldo. Because if you think of the short time he's came into the Premier League, even though it's his second spell, he's happy to carry Man United. And Gary Neville even said that last time. He's carrying the team. And for a guy of his... Calibre standards, maybe you don't want to be carrying the team. You know, maybe you want to show off your skills and get goals. But he's happy to hold his own out there. Now, last night you get Newcastle, which was a one all draw. I do believe maybe, you know, he's throwing his toys at his prime a bit too often. But he definitely deserves to be in this team of the year. Purely because he's only been in the league six months and he's already taken it by storm. Anyone who you talk football about, cannot talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, the last position, which was the Danny other side, I went with Mo Salah from Liverpool. Mo Salah, to me, always makes my team of the year. I know I said this is the first time I've done it, but maybe every year he's been playing in the Premier League, he won't make my team of the year without no doubt. You know, he's had one of these really big careers uh, at Liverpool, where he could be on the move soon as well, uh, but, you know, Mo Salah just made that because of his calibre in the Premier League and what he has been doing, scoring goals galore as well. 
But anyway, guys, I've got to bring this video to an end. So, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Shout out.